Hey, Luis. Where is your guitar? Uh, <laughs> backstage. <laughs> backstage. Great. Okay. Uh, I think it's time to start. Uh, okay. Here is Leslie. She will introduce everybody who is here and tell us the names of. Uh, that, that I don't find another comp because I lost it on the stage, you know. So a rockers without a comp is like something you never do. But anyway, I'm a singer, and this is uh, Len Dauphin. I'm uh, the bass player of the band. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm Benjamin. I'm the, the guitar player of Copycat, and I'm the composer of the song. Hi, Miss Delight. I'm one of the backing singers of. Blue and I'm the other back of Hello. So if you're ready, we can start questions. Yeah, we can do it right now. You know everything very well. Raise up your hand, ask your question, and give a response. Have a response. So raise up your hand if you get any questions to Belgium team. And while you think, ah, oh, great, please welcome. Hi, Alistair Birch from Australian Radio. Congratulations on a great song. It's uh, really catchy. Uh, but where's the cat? You promised us the, the black and white cat from Le Soir would be on stage with you, and I, I didn't see it. Is he coming later, or...? Yes, it's just a technical problem. So we were ourselves surprised. Normally the cat is in the screen, and it wasn't there today. So they promised it would be... Uh, be there for Thursday, which is our next rehearsal. But uh, we were surprised ourselves, so it was just a, a technical problem. Is it alive? Well, it moves. The cat. It's, yes, the cat. It's alive. So the cat is um, is a it's a, a well-known, famous designer who's called Philippe Geluc. I don't know if he's known a bit with you, who uh, who gave us who gave us his cat as one of the members of the band, and who is dressed the same way as Patrick and who dances in the screen. So that's what we should have at the end of the performance. Well, at the end of our rehearsals anyway. Thank you. Next question, please. If you get it. If you don't, I get mine. Uh, please, don't be afraid. Raise up your hand, you'll get the response. Uh, maybe uh, you'll take a few minutes, to, it will take a few minutes to tell us about your image why did you choose it? Uh, why did you decide, forgive me, to copy Elvis? And what do you think Elvis will say, see you? All right. Um, first of all, um, I'm a naturally a rockabilly singer. So as every rockabilly guy in the world, we love Elvis. And it was um, an idea um, that we, we had to, about a song, you know, that uh, Jacques Duval wrote uh, lyrics about that. It, it was a song about a, a guy who doesn't know that Elvis exists and he thinks the real Elvis copy him. It's, it's a surrealist, you know, it's a typical Belgian humor. <laughs> it's very always double sense. And actually we are quite happy to bring uh, this kind of uh, humor in the Eurovision Song Contest, you know. It's a, a little bit something. And um, also, I think, uh, bring some rock and roll, traditional rock and roll there. It's the first time it's, it's gonna be in Eurovision. And um, I'm also quite proud to, 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 with the cats, the cartoon with us on stage, we get a really a family program, you know, it's something that can be watched by everyone and every generation you know, can, can have something in the song, like a people who love rock and roll, people who love this kind of image and cartoon together. So yeah, this is a kind of stuff that I'm quite happy. Great, and I know that the author of, of uh, Elvis songs, Michael Jarrett, heard your song. What did he say? But actually, um, he say, um, he, he just uh, contacted us um, because uh, there was a kind of uh, problem with some Elvis fan club, you know, he was a bit yeah, shocked about the, some words. Then uh, he just asked us if we want some other lyrics, he, he was happy to write it again for us. It could be a great step, no, actually, but, but uh, no, uh, finally uh, we didn't do it because uh, the lyrics of the song goes together with all the look and all the sound. So. But I was quite proud, actually. Have you ever played in Vegas? What? Did you ever play in Vegas? To Vegas? Las Vegas? No, no, never. Uh, I play in Los Angeles, Texas already with my band, and uh, I travel a lot. And yesterday I was in Moscow actually playing. Great. That's why I'm a little bit tired now. <laughs> so you're not the first time here? 
You're here not for the first time. No, 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 no. Great. I was there last year for playing music. It's a lot of, we have a lot of fans here in uh, Moscow. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, any other questions? Because uh, I'm too tired asking. Uh, if you ain't, yeah, please. Bonjour, Stéphane Chiffre euh, de Paris. Euh, je voudrais savoir, enfin, j'espère que la question n'a pas été posée auparavant, euh, je voudrais savoir quel a été le, le processus de sélection de la chanson euh, à la RTBF. Uh, do I speak English no. or French? Okay. Well, you can choose, I suppose. If you, do you understand English if I speak English? Absolutely. Okay. Me not. But there are translators behind all the spy So he asked us how our selection was done in Belgium. Well, Belgium has two communities, French and uh, Dutch. So the Dutch community, they have um, uh, internal selection, which are five big prime times, and it really goes well for them because they have a big audience. With us, we have a selection that we do ourselves because prime time selections don't work. So we just had to let down the idea. So we uh, go to the majors, uh, the record majors, and we ask them if they have a song to propose. And that is the way we do it. And so we had uh, 15 propositions, and there's, there's a jury, but a jury that was of two communities, because I wanted to, it to be really Belgium a, choi a Belgium choice. And, uh, Um, we were all agreed that it was this song that we chose. And did Belgium choose a singer or a song? We chose the song. Okay, so there was no competition between singers? No, not a competition between singers, it was a choice of a song. Great, thank you. Uh, merci. <laughs>